in Cambodia, we did a lot of village work. We went to the village to work on the church. We did some renovations, took out some flooring, put a new floor with cement. Had to break a floor and then rebuild it. It was hard work. It was manual labor. We had to carry buckets of sand and cement and rocks. And then we would put the cement in buckets for the construction workers to make the floor, to build the walls. And People there like Sam, Jonathan, uh, Jet, they're all tired but they still have a positive mindset. And especially Pastor Matt too. I love how he just work and work but still be able to crack a joke and make us feel good during that tiredness. It's really great too to just see him be the role model of hard work. And to think of what the building's going to be used for afterwards really kept, I think it kept all of us going. When this church is done, there's going to be people that will get, will get to know Jesus and will be saved. And there will be young generations, there will be young leaders that will be raised in, in this church. in Cambodia, uh, the pastors there are incredible. They have such a heart to serve and to reach the Khmer people. I was really excited to just meet Filipino missionaries and Pastor Ronald and Pastor Cynthia and the kids and um, just being able to speak in my own language and just share. What I noticed about the ministry in Cambodia is they have a lot of services like connect groups, worship services. I need a service. In Cambodia, they have two services. They have um, the English service and the Khmer service. Seven weeks got to got to help teach the Sunday school in the English service, and then in the Khmer service, we got to sit and listen. And then afterwards, we would have small groups to talk about what the message was and to just break it down to help other people understand if they didn't get it. It was really you got to connect with each person that was there. It was, it was nice. We were able to spend a day in Inker Wat, which is really awesome. You'd walk around, get to see all these awesome temples that these kings had made, and you know, it's pretty worn out, but how well, we were able to restore them and so that it could be safe for tourists to go through and see what it's all like in, in the old days. The biggest thing I learned in seven weeks is just pushing myself past my comfort zone and talking in public, praying for people. It's been good to just get into the ministry where I can learn how to, to do what God wants me to do, when He wants me to do it. Learn that I can do all things because God's given me the strength to do it. It's not by my strength, it's God can do it. So now I can go and talk to anybody I want. I can talk on stage and I don't have to worry about what other people are thinking because God sees me as perfect. Everywhere we've gone, we've talked about the new covenant. Uh, after Jesus died that his blood covered everything that we've done and what we're going to do and that was one thing that I struggled with before coming. I was always worried that maybe I, I didn't pray enough or I didn't ask forgiveness for this one thing that I did or I, I would ask for forgiveness but I would do the same sin over again and I really struggled with that. It gave me a lot of anxiety and coming here talking about the new covenant, it's released a lot of fear and it's given me a lot of peace and a lot of freedom to be able to just live and know that I'm covered. It's carried throughout the whole trip. This really is a life-changing trip. You know, it's not a vacation. It's not just a vacation. It's not just going to places. Getting to know people is also you're growing, you're learning from other people and with your personal devotion. 
I'm still in the process of finding my purpose. But right now I'm focusing on my relationship with God. And with that, all I really want to do is just get to know my God more, get to know my Father more. And what I found really is identity. And along with that, confidence. And just the release and unforgiveness from the past. So to someone who is planning on coming to seven weeks or interested in doing something more with their summer, this is so much more than just a missions trip. It's you're growing, you're being thrown out into to do all these different tasks. You have to speak, you have to play with children, you have to do hard work. Yes, it's hard, yes, it's challenging, but it's so worth it. You grow so much. This strip has changed me a lot with even just being confident on praying and speaking in public. Just being bold and be confident in, to encourage people and to just share the gospel. It doesn't matter how young you are. That shouldn't stop you from doing what's good. It, it changed my life and it can change yours too.